Hands up if you're using Linktree currently and you're just so over the basic look and feel. It's not on brand and everyone's using it, right? Well, what if I told you that there was an alternative that's just launched that's pretty freaking epic and it's called Milkshake. It's claiming to turn your link in your bio into an Insta website. And did I mention it's totally free? So keep watching to find out how to use Milkshake and why I've made the switch. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm your go-to girl for brand and content strategy stuff to help you build your brand online. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a little bit about a new app that I've just recently discovered called Milkshake. And basically it's helping you turn that one single link in your Instagram bio into a mini website. How cool is that? So you may be seeing a lot of people using Linktree to solve the problem of getting more links from that one link in your Instagram bio. I actually created a whole video review about Linktree about a year ago, which you can go and watch now if that is of interest to you, but keep watching this video because I'll be sharing how this new app called Milkshake is doing basically the same thing, but in a much cooler way and why I've made the switch to the platform. When Milkshake launched earlier this year, I was seeing it all over Instagram. And once I had a look at the app and downloaded it to my phone, I was instantly hooked. It's just such a cool way of creating a mini site for your brand on Instagram. So the founder, Cyan Taid, is actually also the founder of the Aussie tech giant Envato. So her whole mission was to create a way to empower small business owners to create a website without any of the tech confusion and they could actually update it immediately from their phone. So Milkshake was designed to act as a simple website for your business. And if you're a service provider or an influencer, it might actually be all you need. So then you don't need to invest the time, the energy and the money into producing a proper website. It's easy to use, which I'll demonstrate shortly, and it's totally free and customizable. So what more could you want? So once you've downloaded the Milkshake app, um, I want to just show you what my current uh, mini site looks like. But today I'm going to add a whole nother page, which is specifically for my YouTube videos. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, but let's just have a look at my page first. So let's just go preview. So this is what my page looks like. It's I've chosen this template from a variety of templates that they have on offer. Um, I liked this one because obviously the pink, as you can see, is totally on brand for me. Um, basically how I've set it up is I've just done the work with me section, which I just want to talk about myself. Then I've got kind of my most recent promotion that I'm wanting to push at the top. And then I've got my latest for YouTube video, my latest freebie that I'm, I'm wanting people to download, how to subscribe to my weekly email, and then also for people to click through to my website. So my website is more for my consulting services and shares some of my pricing and that sort of thing. So I'll show you how we create this. So you click on the little plus icon and the, the one that I particularly chose was top picks. So these are all the different types of templates that you can go for. So they're really cool and trendy and probably on brand for you, depending on what your, what your brand looks like. Um, but as you can see, they're all really different and there's surely something that's gonna be aligned to you. That's the one I chose. So I just wanna quickly show you what the other cards look like. Um, Cause depending on what your product or service is, you may like to choose a different card. So say you're an influencer, the about me one could be all you need. So this might be just a little bit of a bio about you. So looks really cool. Um, and then have a little bit more information about who you are, what you stand for, what's important to you, what you love, all those sorts of fun things. Alternatively, if you are a influencer, you may like to just choose a page with links. So these might be affiliate links that you have and or ambassadorships with brands that you're with, that sort of stuff. Splash 
is when you're creating a multi-page website, which I'll show you how to do, I'll show you how I'm gonna add an additional page to my website, this ad acts as almost like a ad, I guess. So it's a really, it wants to be something, it needs to be something that is, uh, you wanna draw people's attention to. So maybe it's a promotion that you're running or a sale or something like that. And then YouTube, this is the one I'm gonna select now. So again, you can see there's lots of different styles, but I'm gonna choose this one because this is aligned with what I'm doing. So I'll go select. I'll call it YouTube, that's fine. Um, my YouTube channel, I'll change this image. So I've chosen an image and I will keep the heading as my YouTube channel. I wanna change the subheading to build your brand online because that's like my little uh, header that I put at the top of my channel. Um, card description is tutorials, oops, tutorials, uh, tips and strategies for business, for marketing and mindset. And then I'll change the, the channel. And then Kate Emily. And then subscribe. So that's basically what I, what I want it to say. Um, then I'll change this one. I'll just show you how to add one. So I'll add my latest video, which is what is a email newsletter. And then clear that, paste the URL. And then I'll just delete these two because I will add those in later. And then preview. So, oh. I might need to change that image. That image doesn't look great, but that's okay. We'll change that in a minute. Um, and then, so build your brand online, subscribe, and then my videos will automatically come up with the thumbnail, which is really cool. So if we go publish, and then look at my Instagram website. So this is what it looks like live. So this is what my current page looks like, but then this is the page we've just added. So I can put in all, all my YouTube videos or maybe the last six or something like that or that I think are the most relevant to people or the most popular. But yeah, so that's basically all it is. So it's really, really easy to use, super intuitive, I've got great design. Um, yeah, that's kind of all you need, especially if you're creating a lot of content and you wanna be drawing people from Instagram to read your blog, to watch your YouTube channel, to watch your podcast. This is a great way to do that. The only negative I can see with milkshakes so far is that you can't actually do any edits or upload anything from your desktop. Um, I find this a little bit of annoying because I'm adding lots of links and um, writing quite big descriptions and that sort of thing. I'm updating it quite regularly. Um, but I mean, that's the only negative. Uh, it is free at the moment. I'm not sure if it will become a paid product or whether maybe you'll need to pay for certain themes or something like that. But at the moment it's free, so take advantage of that and um, use it to the best of its ability. So what do you think? I would love you to comment below with if this video has taught you something new about Milkshake or maybe you're using Milkshake already. I'd love to hear what you think of the, the app. And please give this video a thumbs up if you loved it because I'd love to create more review type videos like this one of cool little technology and apps and those sort of things that are really gonna help you in your business. So make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below. But if you wanna watch more, go and watch my video, How to Understand Instagram Insights, which teaches three strategies for understanding how to get more engagement on the platform. So go and watch that one now. I will be back here next Tuesday with another video I know you're gonna love. So until then, bye for now.